Hey everybody, I'm Rob the Ranger. Welcome to the channel. This time we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a behind the scenes sort of travelogue. One of my trips on safari. Going to Zebra Plains Mara Camp in Kenya. And we'll have a look at the different uh, modes of transport I'm using to get in there. The different people I meet on the way and obviously the animals when I do get there. Enjoy. So to get to OR Tambo International Airport from home, I used a local company that does shuttle services on a daily basis, SMIC shuttle services. Quite easy to get from my house down to the, the airport, straight down the N1. Uh, on the side of the N1 here, you can see we had uh, quite heavy flooding a couple of weeks previously. It actually flooded one of the bridges on the old highway, the R101, and there were warnings of crocodiles on the main road. Saw some uh, interesting cars passing us on the way down there. Uh, off to some kind of rally, I'm sure. First part of the journey done, now I have to wait at the airport for hours. But, looking down there, down there, there we go. South African national football team are about to arrive. So, the national soccer team, Bafana Bafana, we're just coming back from a uh, local Southern African tournament, I forget which one it was, but they had won the tournament, which is quite unusual for the final final, they don't win a lot of things, but well done to them. At the airport, where's the beer? There's the beer. There's the beer. And this, this is not Parks and Recreation era Chris Pratt. This is Tim. Say hello, Tim. Hello, I'm at Bruce. There we go. Just quickly, this is craft beer brewed at the airport itself. It's very nice. Quickly checking in with Ethiopian Airlines flying to Nairobi via Addis. So this is the first plane. Quite busy, but uh, got an exit seat, so there's lots of leg room. in Addis itself. It's what, about six o'clock in the morning. It's not too long to wait for the next plane, half past eight. There we go. That is the next plane. And, uh, on that one, it's the same uh, model as the previous plane. Again, here I've got a, another exit seat. Also quite busy. And then this goes Straight to Nairobi, it's a quick flight, uh, just over an hour. Arrived in Kenya, now waiting for my transport to the lodge. So I was picked up in a land cruiser, which we drive all the way to Zebra Plains. It's uh, just over 300 kilometers from the airport to Zebra Plains, but slow going. Driving here, you can see on the left hand side, that's the Nairobi National Park, and on the right hand side is Nairobi City itself. Of, uh, classic photos of animals walking in front of the skyline. Now we're going down the uh, road that takes you down into the Rift Valley. See the view of the Rift Valley there. It's quite slow going, going down the hill. Um, Onesimus, the driver, was telling me it was actually built by Italian prisoners of war in World War II, this road. Um, but you can see here, I have to get stuck behind big trucks, so it takes quite a while to get down the hill but nice views while you're going down, so it's uh, all worth it. And here driving along the floor of the Rift Valley, you see a massive crack that's opened up in the floor of the Rift Valley after recent heavy rains here, so I didn't get it on camera. Coming into the town of Narok now, which is the last major town as you go through on the way to the Masai Mara. It's where most of the supplies and everything would come in from to the lodges in the Mara region.
once you get out uh, a few kilometres outside of Naroc, you turn off the main road onto a little dirt road. And this is the main road into the Mara. The road itself looks good when you first turn off, but as you start to get a little bit further down the road, you see it uh, kind of turns into a bit of a problem during the rainy season. Um, the rainy seasons are. Uh, April to June and again uh, October and November, the main rainy season. It does rain all year round though, but uh, the road going in here can be uh, quite slow, to say the least. Once you get a little bit closer to the, uh, well, the conservancies before you actually get into the Masomara main reserve, you can see that the animals are starting to appear on the side of the road. See zebras and uh, Thompson's gazelles, sometimes the Grant's gazelles and the wildebeest. Uh, we even saw some giraffe uh, on this trip going through as well. All very nice. Uh, but in the conservancies, you'll find that there's actually the animals are wandering around with the villagers as well. Uh, you'll see those buildings at the side of the road. Also, the people and the animals generally live in harmony together. And then finally, Getting down just as the sun's setting at the bottom of the hill in front of us, there is Zebra Plains Mara Lodge. And uh, it took us from landing at uh, 10.25 to sunset to get to the lodge from the airport. And there's a nice welcome beer uh, after a long journey. And then uh, time to sit uh, down either in the lounge here or across towards the fire and wait for dinner. 20 past 5 in the morning, time to have some coffee. So after the coffee, early in the morning, you head out, watch the sunrise, and then go look for some animals. And you'll see here a couple of examples of what you'd see on a typical drive. Um, leopard being one, and then uh, going from the leopard, go and see lions, then uh, obviously lots of general game around um, usually in the middle of the drives you'll stop for a breakfast stop out in the bush uh, here you can see set everything up on the bonnet nice view over the river that sort of thing and after breakfast back on drive and uh, go and see more animals before heading back to the lodge uh, sort of 11 o'clock that sort of time Morning drive's finished, transferring everything to the computer now in the media lounge here at the lodge. That's everything. This is just a look out uh, from the main area of the lodge, looking towards the media lounge there, and then towards the bar area, and then around towards the dining areas and boma area. This is what it looks like in the daytime itself. Very pretty. And then a long distance shot from where the waterhole is towards the lodge, looking at what it looks like. Nicely set at the bottom of the hill there, looking out towards the plains. The typical daily routine would be uh, after getting your stuff done in the media lounge, go and have lunch. And then three, half past three, head out for the next drive uh, for a couple of hours before coming back at sunset. Uh, this is a selection of uh, different shots of animals that we did see during the time. I'm not going to concentrate too much on the animals. You can have a look at the highlights packages that I did uh, to have a look at all the different animals we saw. But uh, This is just a, a, a quick selection of shots that we got during the time. Um, lots of lions obviously. Nice lion kill. And they caught a warthog right next to us early in the morning. Uh, you can see on the other side of the car all the hyenas came to uh, wait for their turn to get some scraps. Uh, that'll be a whole video on its own eventually. Um, people will enjoy that I hope. But anyway, let's enjoy the rest of the shots.
kisa hindi ko film drive hindi kima na wacha ni ilisi kama ina Back at Zebra Plains Mara Camp itself, this is the room I was in, or the tent I was in. It is a tented camp rather than a, a brick built lodge. Nice big beds in the rooms, ensuite bathroom. Uh, some of the showers are actually open. You can look out uh, at the view outside. It is a very nice view. You can see here looking out all the way across to the Mara River. Um, not that you can see the river, but you can see Serena Mara Camp on the other side of the river. And then uh, there's a couple of the setups inside the camp and then early mornings you do get the choice or the opportunity to go on a balloon safari. Um, got to get up quite early for that, 4 o'clock get up and then out so you can get up in the balloons to watch the sunrise and then go over the animals like here you can see the balloon flying over the big herd of buffaloes. Now, the company there, Hot Air Safaris, get their address there. And then after the balloon ride, champagne breakfast, also looking out over the animals. Uh, even the toilet itself has a lookout over the animals. There's actually a nice big choice of food at these uh, open air breakfasts with the balloon safaris. Very, very nice. And obviously they're also providing you with some drinks, a little champagne breakfast uh, sort of thing there. Very well worth the the money to go on one of these. <laughs> Another couple of the setups that several planes do for the guests. Uh, sundowners out in the bush. Um, again, lovely views and that sort of thing. And then the obligatory afternoon beer whilst waiting for the evening entertainment, the local Maasai people do come out and do their traditional dance for all the guests. The higher they jump, the more attractive they are to the ladies, or at least so the guys tell me that. Guys made me a cake to say thank you for coming. And this is what happens in the rain. It can rain very, very heavily. Sometimes it's uh, really impossible to get out to go and drive, but the animals still do come around Zebra Plains itself. See the giraffe here, you can view them from the dry of being inside the camp, which is much better than going out and getting absolutely soaked. Now the final morning, had breakfast in the camp before heading off to the airstrip. So instead of driving out, it's a lot easier to actually fly in and out on one of these little planes here. Um, wasn't a lot of room for a long person like me in a plane like this, but still, it's better than bouncing around for seven hours in the car on that horrific dirt road that you saw earlier. smooth takeoff, uh, quite a bumpy airstrip, well done to the pilot here. And once uh, up in the air, flying over the Mara uh, Reserve itself, sometimes you're lucky enough to see some animals out of the window, fly sometimes to some of the other airstrips, we went from one airstrip to another, flying over the Mara River itself some elephants down at the bottom there, hard to make out in the video. There's Mara Serena camp on top of the hill there. It's the second airstrip uh, that the plane landed at. And then once taking off from the second airstrip, they actually flew over. You can see several planes itself. Uh, there's little dots on the ground there. And flying from here all the way to 
Wilson Airport in Nairobi. The Wilson itself, not a very big airport as you can see. And then a quick taxi ride from Wilson through around the edges, the outskirts of Nairobi itself to Jomo Kenyatta International, uh, where We're checking in with Ethiopian Airlines again, basically the same way I got here, but uh, backwards. Obligatory airport beer. You can see uh, inside Jomo Kenyatta there is only this little kiosk where you can get a sandwich and a beer. And then uh, in the waiting room, waiting for the plane. Outside somewhere there on its way in. A very long wait in the airport of Edis, but uh, all worth it. Final plane was a nice big plane. Lots of entertainment screens all the way back to Joburg. Lots of things to watch. Very, very nice. That's it. Thank you. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Buy a t shirt. You're on YouTube, you know the drill. Click the notification icon, the bell, the thingamajig. See you next time. You can also follow me on all the social networks with the hashtag now filming for live updates from Safari.